Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have seen how to customize the header, footer and body. In this current video, we shall understand how to create the chart and uh, how to utilize the row groups and column groups. Here in the view tab, if you click on that, okay, here we have something called grouping. If we check that, here we'll be able to see the grouping uh, row groups and column groups. In a while, we'll understand how row groups and column groups work. We shall remove the previous data set and let us create a new data set. Click on the data set and uh, click on add data set. Here we shall, uh, you know, give any name, random name, select the data source, which is our car insurance analysis from Power BI data set. Click on query designer. Here in this query designer, we have this education, uh, you know, education. Let us bring this education into the query. Here in the insurance, we would require this, uh, you know, claim amount or uh, instead of bringing the claim amount directly, we have a measure from the measure table, which is total claim. I'll bring in this total claim and let us select few more dimensions. For example, in the marital status, let us bring this mar marital status and in the zones, let us bring this coverage zone and additionally in the insurance table, let us bring the gender column. So we have uh, this uh, random data where we have selected from the model and let us click click on click to execute the query. Here we could see that the dimensions and the fact which is total claim all are calculated appropriately. Let us click OK and this is our query which will be executed and let us click OK. Here in the on the left you could see the data set one which consists of all the required fields and now let us understand how to create a chart here from the home tab okay here uh, we could see that on the chart we have something called insert chart okay i'll click on that insert chart as soon as i click within the body anywhere you could see that a chart type window will open up here let us suppose that we want a chart type called column chart i'll click on that i'll click ok now we'll you'll see a sample uh, chart where you'll see this uh, you know column chart appearing. As soon as you click on the chart anywhere, you'll see this values and category groups appearing. Suppose that I want to select the values as total claim. Again, choose that. I'll click on category groups. I'll select education. And here, as I you know as I could uh, expand it, here you could see that. Uh, with respect to expansion even the body will move okay and I could uh, move it to the left or bottom or I could increase the size let us run this uh, on from the home and let us see how it will appear in the chart here you could see that uh, we have the education in the bottom and as well as uh, the uh, other claim amount on the y-axis okay I'll go back to the design I can select this Y axis. I can right click, click on vertical axis properties. Okay, this uh, pop up window will open. I'll select the number, go to number, click on show values in millions. So this will ch show us the values in millions. I'll click OK. Okay, and we, I can select the bars and I can, or I could say columns. I'll, I can select show data labels. I'll select the data labels and click on series label properties. I can go to number again change it, it it to the millions so in this way we could format it appropriately in order to showcase in the column chart again if we run it okay we'll be able to see the data in millions here you could see that bachelors people with bachelor's degree have claimed the amount till 940 million and uh, respectively in uh, which is arranged okay i hope we have understood you know how to create a chart a simple chart uh, here there are multiple things and just like in Excel, we could add a new title, we could add a new legend and here you could see that there is series groups also. Suppose that if we want to add a series group called gender, I'll add that. Here you could see based upon the gender, we could even uh, 
show the differences if i run it you'll be able to see uh, based upon the gender as well as the education here you could see the female and male genders and uh, you could see the clustered column chart so i hope it is understandable if you like to change the chart what you could do is you can select uh, you know right click anywhere click on chart click on change chart type and you could choose the respective suitable chart with respect to your data and you could showcase it suppose that i want stacked column chart what you could do is again select that stacked column chart click ok now you'll be able to see that the data is arranged in stacked way i can change the title just click on this chart title and you could just start typing like uh, total claim by gender and education and in the main main title you can just write something like claim info and you can format it here in multiple ways here you have quite a good uh, range of formatting i can just select it bold it and even uh, make multiple formattings and this is how we make a chart i hope it is understandable and let us understand how this row groups and column groups work i'll just you know bring this uh, expression or you could say footer to the little bottom way here i'll uh, go to insert i'll select the table just insert a table so i'll just insert a table here the second row which is present we do not require that i'll show you why here i'll uh, you know i'll select this row i'll right click and delete rows okay now we have simple table okay we only with the header section i could just bring it anywhere where it is feasible for me here you could see that i have selected the cell right click on that go to add group and click on this uh, parent group in the row group section as you click on the parent group in the row group section you'll see that group by uh, with respect to other dimensions also i'll take this education uh, in the group by i'll just click okay so that we'll we'll get this education in the first group and select the same thing and he here in the bottom you could see that in the row groups now we have seen the education i'll right click go to the row group you could edit, either delete the group and or it'll change the properties what i need to do is i'll go to add group and add a child group i'll click on this child group and here i would uh, choose this coverage zone i'll select this coverage zone and click okay here we have the coverage zone within em embedded within the square brackets and in the bottom in the row groups you could see that i am able to uh, see the multiple things and in the third cell i'll select this i'll select the total claim which is the sum of total claim amount and here if you want the totals i can right click click on add total once you click on add total we'll be able to see the total amount let us run and see the output how it would appear here you could see in the bottom we have the respective education degrees and the coverage zones accordingly the claim amount right and let us go back to the design and here suppose that in the columns we want to make some other changes i can right click go to add group in the column group click on this parent group and here we have something called as gender i'll select the gender click okay and we can select this gender uh, cell and again right click go to add group click on this column group child group and here we can choose this either marital status i'll select okay so we have uh, you know set of uh, groups and subgroups according to the values of total claim and these are uh, empty columns i can select those columns and uh, just right click and delete now i can run and see the data appropriately here you could see that in the left most we have this you know education degrees here we have the coverage zones and we have uh, the gender on the top and within the particular gender we have this uh, you know marital marital status details accordingly the total claim details here we could format uh, the color and even we could format the labels and everything all uh, all you need to do is go back to the design select the respective you know rows or columns and select the you know formatting things suppose i want to fill it with uh, you know some blue color i can just select the blue color it will fill it up with blue color 
similarly I can select these two columns fill it with the same blue color I can you know maybe select this another color different color and it will it will populate over here and if you run again you'll be able to see the formatting changes also accordingly here you could see that I'm able to see the changes uh, from the left and uh, on the top based upon the values I hope you have understood how to create a chart how to you know use the row groups and column groups in the bottom these row groups and uh, you know column groups it will appear only when uh, you know you click on this view tab and you ch check this grouping okay and you can you know bring it little you know up or you can move, move accordingly and you could customize okay I hope uh, this is understandable please explore this is all for today and we shall meet in the next video. Mm -hmm.